Okay, Mr. Miller again in the library. I wanted to share two quick tips from Schoology that might save you a lot of time and help you become more efficient when you're in Schoology. First of all, courses now has this drop down menu when you click on it um, and you'll see all of the courses that you're in. If, let's say, you have one teacher who uses courses a lot and you want that to appear first, you can reorder how your courses appear in that drop down menu by clicking on My Courses and then Reorder Courses and you can drag them into your preferred order. You can do that now with groups, same idea, click my groups over here on the right and then reorder groups. Uh, groups, especially you might belong to a lot, let's say if you're involved in sports or clubs or activities, and it's going to even tell you these groups won't appear in that drop down. Uh, so you might want to reorder them. So again, the groups that you have most of the notifications from, uh, most of the information that you click on most recently uh, to move them to the top. Another thing that I mentioned, notifications. Um, if you have your settings set in a way, you might be just uh, overwhelmed with Schoology notifications. So if you click over here in your name, the drop down menu settings, um, under account, you can click on notifications and that's a going to allow you to customize your email notifications. If you're getting an email notification from Schoology, every time something changes in the least bit, uh, you're probably not paying attention to any of them. Uh, if you set this correctly, then you can actually know when something important happens. So I have most of mine turned off unless someone comments on something that I've posted, they send me a question, uh, there's an assignment that's due. Um, that way I'm not getting so many emails that I ignore all of them. So both one, reordering your groups and courses and also changing your settings so you're only getting the important email is going to save you time uh, and a lot of hassle when you're in Schoology and in your Gmail account.